thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for coming to this uh, very special event. Uh, this is a uh, day. It's a very special day. It's our six years birthday. So it's a uh, for the past six years. It's uh, never easy. In the past six years, we started from the language service provider as a service language, language service provider. We do language service. We, we do multilingual courses, and we uh, we do the machine translation. In 2015, we started to work on the big data, and in 2017, we, we accidentally stepped into uh, the fintech. We launched our the first version of the Jupyter, and uh, just one year ago, when I uh, came to the States and we joined the first uh, financial alternative summit in New York, on that day we just found out a new ocean. And uh, let's come that back to the theme of today's event. It's a alternative data. I still remember that one year ago. I still mentioned that alternative data is a new oil. And nowadays, and today, it's not really new oil. It's a new air. And we cannot live without it. So that's my, uh, my topic for today. So the financial industry is a dynamic market, full of changes as long as keeping the core value. So for changes, this quantitative investment is becoming more and more important. And also emerging investment trends from utilizing the traditional data and into uh, alternative data. So data has developed to uh, effect numerous levels for investment uh, decision making. But what we remain remains an ever green search for alpha. And all the, we need to understand the key to the market change, and we need to apply the better knowledge with the data. So the quantity of investment has already changed the global market. From uh, 10 years ago, the quant hash fund market value uh, tripled 115 billion US dollars. And also total low market value increased from 8% in 2011 to 13% at present. And also nearly 30% of the trade volume is accounted by major players in the quant hash fund. Uh, namely, the work quant, the two sigma, and more. The adjustment for the quantity of investment is already a re reality for investment time. So what is the domestic in China for the perspective, a domestic perspective? The re recently, I think I still remember like two months ago, in the summer Davos in Dalian, the Premier Li Keqiang announced the opening up policies for the Chinese financial sector. So according to the schedule, the fixed schedule is by the end of the 2021, but in the Davos, Premier Li Keqiang mentioned the, the opening up for the Chinese financial sector is going to be one year ahead of the fixed schedules. So that is a quite important policies for the Chinese market as well as for the global players, resulting that companies such as like Blackwell's, Bridgewater, are signing strategic investment plans into China investment market. So today, alternative data growing importance in the quantitative investment strategies. So the amount of the alternative data vendors doubled from 2020, 20, uh, doubled from like, a, I think 200 in 2012 in, into 400 in 2018. So statistics by the alternative data uh, platform reviewed the asset management firm with over US dollar 10 billion AUM has increased input for the alternative data 1.3 million per year Q3 million US dollar per year. So 
this is the milestone of the alternative data. And we can see NASDAQ, we can see the SMP, and Goldman uh, Citibank, and Bloomberg all launched their platform for the alternative data. So those are the milestones, even in last year and this year. And also, I think two days, uh, uh, two days ago, I learned the news that London Stock Exchange is going to acquire the Refinitiv with, uh, uh, with one, 150 billion US dollar for 55% of the share. So that's a tremendous opportunity for the alternative data market. So what it remains, it remains the pursuit for the investment, the returns, and uh, the extra returns. So what we pro provide, we provide the data, algorithm, platform, and also we provide the scenario-based application. So what data we have? Uh, we have the financial asset data from the traditional data, um, but we have the data unique, which is quite unique from the market. And we have the stocks, macroeconomic data, and the money market, real estate, and uh, let's see what we have. We have the structured data, huge amount of data, with the 15 billion in use, map data, and what is more important, apart from the data, and we calculate the sentiment, and we calculate the market psychology, and we calculate the global risk. And those are, we have a unique global patents for those three major indexes. So this is a financial quantification uh, algorithm. So we support more than 10 different languages and provide more than 53 types of the algorithm services. And even DT in China, they only can handle the Chinese data. And this is so unique. In terms of Reuters, they provide the market psychology in index. But that one, they, they, they announced that they covered about 2,000 data sources. About 2,000 data sources nowadays for news, for social media, that's too limited. And we all know, even nowadays for the break news, it's not really from the traditional data source. It might be from any type of the open data source. So we actually covered more than 200 countries, more than 65 different languages, and even quite a few data vendors, alternative, alternative data vendors back in the States, they might be able to provide the data only in English. But one typical example of that, when, for example, like uh, China trade the oil with, for example, for APAC, company, uh, APAC countries with RMB. We all know that are going to generate a huge impact for the crude oil price. So what kind of data we are able to utilize to calculate that impact? And that might be able to connect it to, like, uh, Russia? How about the data from the APAC countries? How about data from Japan? How about data from the States? And those data could be English, Russia, could be Arabic, could be any type of data. And are you able to see those tiny data from our social media? Or even from the news? Not really. But we are able to handle that. And also we provide a speed read. How, as we all know, when the Times Reuters, they provide a brief news. The news could be 15 minutes ahead of uh, the, uh, the news into the public uh, media, uh, they, uh, they, they, they will push the news to, the, to their terminals, maybe t uh, 30 minutes ahead. But what we can do, and we can capture that news for the first second, and we calculate whether within 30 minutes 
that I need one hour, that news could broadcast or transmit it like a cover one million uh, populations or ten million populations. And we calculate that speed rate. And that is the impact provided by the big data. And so based on all of those needs, we calculate the market psychologies, the confidence index, the risk of performance, the viewpoints indicators, and investor behaviors indicators and uh, popularities and emotional uh, volatilities. And also that index, we also own the globe global payments, and we are calculating the hazard, the concentration, attention. Traditionally, those data actually is from a psychology research. And we apply for, we apply those uh, psychology research or studies into the big data. And then we measure, measure the data, and then we calculate the data, so we not really calculate the Chinese, but also the English, Russian, Japan, Japanese, or all type of data. And that's why we are able to calculate the real impact on the market. So those are the, the data sample for for the market psychology. Yeah, that, that is the market psychology evaluation. We we set up the different type of the golden standards for for the evaluation. And there's the Jober, the Jobarge, and Juman, Jumani um, knowledge graph. And uh, the Jober is we launched like two years ago. And Jobarge is uh, like a streaming real-time data calculation platform for the alternative, uh, alternative investment. And uh, just I think one week ago, we launched our Gcom HP Connect 100 uh, index. Uh, index. And uh, well, up to now, the one week of the performance is excellent. excellent. Perhaps this is the very first index established uh, on the basis of the alternative data. And this is a, well, this is a comparison. The CNI GCOM HK Connect 100 and then the Hong Kong Connect is a past three years uh, uh, comparison. And uh, this is the crude oil in index. We established uh, the modules uh, based upon the alternative data. And this is examples of the brand of crude oil price qualification. And then we can see we uh, calculate the lead, I think it's several days, and we have the forecast, and we have the data. This one. I just uh, showed a very short video right here. It's a zoom graph. Um, that is the knowledge graph within the past two years we've been working on. It's uh, like the Kaggle, in line to the GitHub, and for developers. But the developers for the FinTech. And uh, we believe this is might be the very first FinTech knowledge graph developers community. So we already set up uh, quite a few uh, different samples for the FinTech, for the investment, for the company, the, the corporate tree. So the knowledge graph is going to bring down a tremendous opportunity to support the FinTech and the brand uh, fundamental changes for the utilization for the alternative, alternative data. So this event is our great, great privilege. And we want to be open, and we want to be more inclusive, and we want to be more cooperative. That's one year ago I talked to with that. And we, bring one, and we want to bring more data, bring more fintech technologies to this event and to the industries. And uh, we are hoping that we bring the global leading think tank to the alternative, the, uh, alternative investment 
thank you very much.